Hey guys, in this video I'm going to build this micro solar system which is going to contain all traditional parts such as lithium batteries, charge controller, inverter and battery management system. This video is going to be divided to multiple parts. In the first part we'll assemble all of this together. In the next part we'll connect solar panel. Then we'll try to power multiple loads using this small inverter. Then we'll calculate how many times we can charge our smartphone or laptop or power any electrical device using this system. Then I will provide detailed information how much each component costs in this system. And having this knowledge how to connect all of these pieces together will help you to build any size of a solar system 12, 24 or 48 volts. So if you're interested, let's jump into the video. Before assembling cells to 12 volts configuration, I paralleled them and charged to 365 volts for a few days. Now I'm just assembling pack to 4 cells in series and this is gonna give us nominal voltage 12.8 volts and when cells is going to be fully charged it's gonna give us about 14.6 volts. And now we can connect BMS wires. I have a detailed video where I'm explaining what is a BMS and how to properly connect all wires together. To connect charge controller to panels, I'm going to use this XT60 connector. Right here is MC4 connectors, which is standard for solar panels. And I'm going to make cable where one side is going to be XT60 connector, which is going to be connected to charge controller. And the other side is going to be connected to solar panel.
Okay guys, I'm about to finish this build and before finishing assembling this, let me quickly talk about connections what we have here and explain all of this. Let's start with the charge controller. So here is a charge controller which is resp which is going to take power from solar panels. This is where is uh, where solar panels is going to be connected and uh, is going to transfer this power to to the batteries. So on, on the charge controller we have input from solar panels, positive and negative, and then we have output from the from the battery. Positive wire from a battery going directly to the battery positive terminal and negative wire this one is going to our uh, BMS. BMS is responsible to make sure that batteries uh, not going over particular voltage or below particular voltage. So it's monitoring every individual cell. And this is BMS is a separate port BMS. That means it could control charge and discharge using two different uh, connections. And the uh, connection is pretty simple here. We have B negative, which is going to battery negative terminal. Then we have uh, P negative middle wire right here. And this is responsible for discharge. So it's going to this terminal post where we're going to connect our inverter. And C negative is a charge, charging negative, which is going to, to charge controller. Then on a BMS, we have these wires, which is uh, uh, sensing voltage for every individual cell and making sure that we are not overcharging or over discharging any of these cells because it's quite sensitive to overcharge or over discharge. Few improvements uh, could be done here. First is uh, maybe it's a good idea to cut few holes right here to allow ventilation for this device. By the way, what is good about this charge controller? It has USB, so that means you can charge your phone or any USB device from solar panels directly without connecting inverter. So now I'm going to secure batteries. I'm going to secure this charge controller. Then I'm uh, close all of this with lead. And tomorrow we'll connect this to solar panels. We'll see how we charge in our batteries. And later we'll connect this to inverter and see uh, what kind of loads we can power from this inverter. This is 400 watts inverter. And uh, I will provide information how many hours you can power a particular device or how many, how many times, for example, you can charge your phone. Okay, now let's secure all of this and finish this build. For test, I'm going to use this solar panel, 260 watts. I've got this from Craigslist about two years back and price at that time was $100 plus minus. I'm going to set up this panel on the backyard and uh, let's attach our system. Now we can connect MC4 connectors and uh, before connecting solar panel to charge controller I'm just gonna take multimeter and make sure that I did connect positive and negative wires correctly. So here we can see 36 volts from solar panel and now we can connect XT60 connectors and if we check charge controller right now we're charging batteries with 6 amps. So the system remained connected to solar panels for entire day and right now battery is fully charged. Now I'm connecting inverter and let's try to power few loads. Now we can bring our micro solar system anywhere we want to power our loads. 
right here I have backyard lights, 48 light bulbs, 3 watts each, and um, here we go. Now we can enjoy some electricity without running generators. At the same time, we can charge our electronic devices, such as laptops or smartphones, and uh, enjoy extra time watching favorite YouTube channels or doing any other work. Now let's talk about price for each component. Batteries, you can get this from battery hookup website, 15 bucks per cell, so $60 total. Inverter, I've got this for $30. Battery management system, this is cheap and inexpensive BMS, 15 bucks. Charge controller, I bought this long time back for $55. Right now you can get similar functionality for just $30. All of these wires and connectors, I calculated this as a $30. And this box did cost me 10 bucks. So total price for all of this build is $175 plus 100 I paid for solar panel. Now let's see what is the battery capacity and how many times we can charge laptops or smartphones or how many hours we can power other electrical devices. So for battery capacity we have 4 cells, 12.8 volts nominal voltage multiplied by 25 amp hours so we're gonna get 320 watt hours. And I did calculate efficiency for this inverter as 80%, so we're gonna get 250 watt hours on AC side of usable energy. And um, laptops, for example, 15 to 17 inches, they have batteries about 90 watt hours. So if we divide 250 watts by 90 watt hours, we're gonna get how many times we can charge our laptop battery. Smaller laptops, 10 to 12 inches, usually have about 50 watt hours battery. So we can charge five times this laptop using this battery pack. Smartphones we can charge many times because they have really tiny batteries. To power LED lights, usually this consume about 30 to 50 watts. So you can divide 250 by this number and you, you're gonna get how many hours you can power this component. Fans, like uh, tower fans or any other fans, usually consume about 50 watts. So if we divide 250 by 50, we're gonna get five hours. So we can run out of this pack tower fan for five hours. 55 inch TV get, uh, takes about 60 to 90 watts. So here's how many hours we can power our TV. Now, what we're gonna get from this solar panel. So 260 watts solar panel, if we calculate sunny day, we're gonna get about five hours of full sun power. So we're going to get from one solar panel about 1,300 watts. So that means in one day, we can charge fully our battery to full capacity, and then we're gonna get about one kilowatt of energy left. So during the sun time, we can charge fully our battery and we're still going to get one kilowatt of energy we can charge any of our devices or use electricity to power these devices and we still is going to get 250 watts at the night time all right guys it was a really fun project for me to build this micro solar system i hope you enjoyed this video as well if you do don't forget to hit like button consider subscribing to this channel and as always thank you for watching and see you later